everyone, this is Mountain Dog Companion, and today we're gonna share with you um, information about a greater Swiss mountain dog. We have a litter also here to talk about, but I just wanna help you guys understand all the different things um, about a greater Swiss, or a Swissy, as a lot of people call them. And just, we'll go through this litter here. So before we do that, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, and get the video a like whenever it's done, really would appreciate it. But if you check out our website at Mountain Dog Companion, uh, you'll be able to see this upcoming litter at the time of this video. Uh, we have Sally, who has five males right here. And then she has two females as well. Uh, we have, so we're just gonna go through, show the different five puppies, as well as talk about a Greater Swiss Mountain Dog. So a Greater Swiss Mountain Dog, they are gonna be in around 110 pounds, 120 pounds full grown. And the dad or the males and the females or the males will be a lot bigger than the females. Uh, if you look at our website, litter. This one's actually going to probably have a blue eye with it. If you look at our website, we use Charles as our stud. He is imported, has health um, testing and all that good stuff done to him. Produces some really nice puppies. He's a bigger male compared to some really really nice puppy or adult. Uh, here's the two females. Um, so that this breed was originally um, came from Europe in Switzerland. Obviously they're called the Greater Swiss Mountain Dogs. They were bred as herding dogs or as pulling dogs. So they did pull carts back in the day. They are definitely a non-aggressive dog. A very, I'd say, mellow but outgoing, um, outdoorsy type of dog. So if you have a nice uh, outdoorsy place, whether you're on a farm, whether you have a big yard, uh, whether you like going on hikes, if you're out in the mountains, this breed would, would be perfect for you, excuse me. <coughs> uh, this litter here, they're around two weeks old, maybe a little bit older right now. Like they're just opening their eyes and still with mama. They'll be with mama for around four to five weeks and then we'll start the weaning process with these little ones here. Uh, we've sold our Greater Swiss Mountain Dogs all over the country. Uh, Miami, Texas, um, Colorado, um, the East Coast, a lot of California. Um, so they are good for any type of uh, what, uh, climate. Now if you know I just always have to make sure that there's water available if you're in a hotter climate but they're great in the cold um, and yeah just good for any any other climate. I mean, as far as the Bernese Mountain Dogs, they're very similar to the Bernese Mountain Dogs. These are obviously a short hair breed. Um, so they have the same markings and everything as a Bernese Mountain Dog does and are very closely related. Uh, but there are some key features and difference. Mostly the short hair um, is the big difference. Personality wise, I would say they are maybe a little bit more outgoing, not quite as laid back as the mountain dog, the Bernese mountain dog, but they still do are more laid back. They both are chill, friendly, and non-aggressive. They do make great watchdogs, so they do definitely make a good watch. Like if somebody that they don't know walks in your area farm or, or whatever, they will let you know. They aren't gonna be aggressive towards them, but they'll make great watchdogs. So that's good. Um, if you guys have any questions about the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog, just comment below in the video. We'll definitely definitely help you out but um, we do have one reservation so far in this litter and we're super excited about it they're doing really really well so we had two girls five boys and yeah just wanted to share this litter video we'll do another videos as they get older but wanted to talk about them but definitely check out our website at mountaindogcompanion.com click the nursery page click the uh, Greater Swiss Mountain Dogs. We also um, raise Bernese Mountain Dogs and Bernan Doodles. See those as well. But hopefully this video helped you guys learn a little bit more about a Greater Swiss Mountain Dog. And we'll just keep watching the video guys, or watching the litter guys come up close here and we'll see them move around. They do have their eyes open and keep talking a little bit more about the, the Mount, Greater Swiss Mountain Dog. They do make pretty good swimmers, so if you do have a lake, they can swim. Um, they a lot of our families that adopt them actually do have them inside so 
you know, if you like the Bernese Mountain Dog and maybe you're afraid of the shedding, these will shed, but they will shed a lot less because they are more short hair. So if you want an inside dog, they make a great inside dog. Um, as far as training goes, yeah, you, with any dog, I think you have to be persistent with it, and it takes somewhat time, but they are pretty smart and do really well with training. All of our dogs, our just litter here is AKC registered. So you will get uh, the AKC registration with them. Um, limited, if you do want full registration for breeding rights, you have to let us know in the phone call. We do offer that as well at an extra fee. But definitely give us a call. First go to our website guys at Mountain Dog Companion. You can see these beautiful, beautiful, um, beautiful breed along with our other breeds on our website. trying to think anything else about a greater swiss mountain dog we went over the temperament they're more mellow um, non-aggressive very friendly uh, they do like their owner like somebody new um, it might take a little bit of time to warm up to um, they are they're not skittish they're just um, very loyal to their owner as far as um, we talked about their size, they're gonna be the females around 90 to 100, males around 120, 130. Um, what else? Are they going to be bigger or smaller than a Bernice Mountain Dog? As far as size goes versus the Bernice Mountain Dog, they're gonna, it depends on the adults, but they're pretty much very similar, maybe a little bit bigger, um, even though they don't look big because their fur isn't quite as uh, puff, fluffy. Uh, lifespan, this is, a, I forgot to mention the lifespan of a Greater Swiss Mountain Dog. Compared to Bernie's Mountain Dog, their lifespan is a lot better. These here, the average lifespan is around, I'd say, 10 to 13. Compared to a Bernie's Mountain Dog, it's more like 8 to 10. So they are a very healthy, healthy breed, which is, I'd say, gives them a little bit more benefit over the, the Bernie's Mountain Dog, for sure. Uh, so yeah. Definitely, definitely, I think it make, they make a great companion, guys. Um, as an adult, they are very friendly, loving, very healthy. We've had nothing but very good comments from our um, people who have adopted them in the past. We've been doing this for quite a long time with the Greater Swiss Mountain Dogs and just definitely have a love for them. So, really appreciate it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you do have any more questions about the Greater Swiss Mountain Dog, definitely let us know. We'll be more to help you, more than welcome to help you out. And hit that, make sure to hit the link below to check out, check them out at Mountain Dog Companion. And subscribe to our channel. We're gonna have doopy doo and more videos like this with our Bernie's Mountain Dogs, our Bernadoodles, and so forth. So thanks guys and have a great day.